Okay, so this is a kind of a long-winded question from our buddy Kyle, and uh, there's some some names involved. I'm going to keep the names anonymous uh, just in case um, it's not something he would like to share with everyone. So the question starts off. He says, "Hey, this has happened twice to me now with uh, one girl from before, and now last night with another girl I really like. I had a lucid dream that I was happily married to someone." And then she died on me in the dream. It wasn't scary, but I felt emotional because it feels real. And when I awakened, I still had the feelings. They're still here and very strong. Uh, he says he fell in love with her in his dream. And he woke up and obviously this feeling was still with him. He uh, was experiencing the emotional sort of aftermath of that. And he then says, what do I do? I know the lucid dreams. Uh, I wake up and feel what I dreamt, but I can't control them, which is interesting. And I'll get to this in a minute. They're so real, but then they're not, if that makes any sense. Uh, and then he says, yep, everything is done like you said in the email. Uh, he used the wake back to bed technique, I believe, which is where you, um, I'll probably link to another video, you set your alarm for two hours earlier than you would normally wake up, and then that obviously interrupts your sleep just before or during your REM sleep, which is obviously your rapid eye movement, which is the time at which you're most likely to have a lucid dream. So he has tried that technique, that's worked for him, great. Um, and he then says, ah, there's, this is sort of the other part of the question. He says that the, when he looked at his phone, this is where he set his alarm for the wake back to bed technique. He can't recall if it was, so I'm just reading this question here. He, okay. He, uh, looked at the phone and it was hard to understand. So he looked at the screen and there was like no status bar on the, um, at the top. There's normally a signal thing where it says signal uh, carrier and the battery that wasn't there. So what has happened there is he's had what's called a false awakening, which is where you dream uh, about waking up and it feels very real. It feels like you're doing all the things you would normally do when you wake up. But of course, it's false and you're still dreaming. You're dreaming about waking up from a dream, which is a very weird experience. OK, so we're going to start at the very top. Having an emotional reaction in a lucid dream or experiencing, uh, I'm going to use quotes here, love in a lucid dream. Uh, can be very confusing when you wake up because obviously it feels real just uh, in the same way that lucid dreaming sex or um, uh, any other experience you can have in a lucid dream feels very real. Um, it's important to realize that it is a dream and obviously when you wake up maybe don't go sort of uh, calling this girl saying you know um, I love you and everything because the chances are that she well she might feel the same but of course, you have to realize that you've had a subjective experience, which means that you experience this in your dream and it's not something tangible that has happened in the real world. So obviously, if I'm not going to give uh, relationship advice here, um, but if you do feel uh, an emotional connection to her, if you do feel like you love her in real life, um, then maybe the dream is just a manifestation of that and it's just sort of confirming to you your feelings on her, uh, feelings towards her, I mean. So... Obviously, that's something you can explore yourself if that's something you want to do. But um, in terms of having um, a love experience in a dream, it's not obviously real, but it can suggest something about your feelings for someone in real life. So that's something to think about. Maybe you do have feelings for her. I don't know. Now, going on to the... Um, so yes, sorry, to, to uh, summarise, um, what should I do? I don't know. It's up to you because obviously... You know this girl, I assume, and uh, it's something you have to decide what to do. But in terms of the dream, if you couldn't really control it, then I'd, I would argue that it wasn't really a lucid dream at all, but maybe just a very vivid, uh, regular dream that you woke up and had a good memory of. You had a good dream recall and it feels like you just did it. But if you weren't aware of yourself dreaming and if you couldn't uh, control exactly what it was that you were doing, then I would argue that you didn't have a lucid dream, but that's neither here nor there. So the second uh, sort of part of your question is the false awakening um, part, where you looked at your phone and you couldn't see, yeah, you couldn't see the time or the carrier, no signal bar. Uh, yeah, that was a false awakening. It may have felt like a real awakening, and in that sort of time during the morning, you can get confused between uh, the dream and waking life because you're sort of half asleep if that makes any sense. You're half conscious, half unconscious, and you 
sometimes can feel like you were awake when in fact you were dreaming about being awake and looking at your phone. So it's a perfectly normal phenomenon. This is called um, a false awakening and it's nothing to worry about. You just need to be a bit more focused in your reality checks and in your, uh, in your mental state. When you first wake up and you first see your alarm, do a reality check, make sure that you're actually awake and then try and go back to sleep, um, do the normal vis visualization, uh, whatever techniques you like to use for the wake back to bed method. Okay, so I hope that answers your question, Kyle. Uh, if you have any questions, please send them in to uh, contact at howtolucid.com or just tweet them, send a message to the YouTube channel, the Facebook page, wherever you would like to contact me. Uh, also, please don't forget to subscribe. It really does help me and it means that you can see my videos as they're posted because if you're an email subscriber, thank you very much for being an email subscriber, of course, but uh, bear in mind that I don't send my YouTube videos to my email list. Uh, I keep them separate because obviously I'm going to be posting quite a lot of YouTube videos. I don't want to annoy my email subscribers, but at the same time, if you would like to see regular video updates, then just subscribe to the channel and you'll get both. You'll get the emails and the YouTube uh, subscriptions. Okay, thank you for watching.